you know, over the years, I've had a lot of uh, N20s with knackered head gaskets, usually because uh, stupid bastards don't bleed them properly. This X5, sadly, has been to another garage. It's, <laughs> I'll start my videos with it's been to another garage because most of the time I don't fucking things up that much. That, I'm, that's all I'm getting lately. I'll show you later <laughs> how much work I've got. First thing I noticed, other than the fact that it's boiling over, they tried, a couple of lads last week tried to do something with it, but it's boiling over, literally. It's just like pressurising it, you know what I mean? I, I said it was the head gasket, now I've got to have a look at it. First thing, it's got rusty spark plugs. Now, how the frigging hell, that, they're not sandy code because, you know, it's perfect combustion, I can assure you. They're rusty. They smell of coolant and they're rusty. Coolant, even though it's coolant, it does rust. They're rusty. It's not perfect sandy combustion like Ains Manual, you show. It's got rusty spark plugs. So what did I do? By the way, this is a very short video, even though it's a long form. I've pressurised it to like two bar, over pressure slightly. And I put the bore cam down in game, cylinder one and two. And uh, lo and behold, I found a milky, a milky emulsion. And sometimes if you're dead lucky, which you'll see from the bore cam footage, you'll see it dripping in now. It's, spoiler alert, it's not drip, 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 like a tap, like a dodgy tap or like a whatever. I was going to say something about prostate then, but I best not, because mine's not great. <laughs> but let's just look at the bore cam footage, and uh, let, let me point out on the bore cam footage exactly what, you know, what I can see that maybe trained eye might not be able to see. Let's go and look at the footage. So the first thing that comes to mind with these, you, first of all, you can see a slight milky emulsion. You can see a little bit of a shiny area eventually on the head gasket. There's the milky emulsion. You can just see it there. I will pause the video soon. But to the trained eye, you'll spot it immediately. And you can see some kind of like furry liquid type bubbly areas around the circumference. And that circumference is the head gasket. There's a grey band. That's the head gasket now between the combustion chamber and that top of that grey band. The grey band is just combustion gases. And that there is the first clue on cylinder number one. You can see some bubbling starting. We've got two bar of pressure in the cooling system. And to me, it's got a slight green tinge as well, if you can just get the light right. The camera isn't the best on this bore cam, unfortunately. But that's definitely, definitely, definitely 100% coolant. It's... They have to be very banana the head to get that to drip in and drip, drip, drip. But you can just see it there. You can physically see it there. That's definitely it. That's definitely what it is. And that's the issue, unfortunately. And it goes from blue to green. You're in trouble. And it's not going to be very pleasant because it means you've got a severe problem. Yeah, so you can see we do. Uh, I'd already told the young lad last week to do the test with the combustion gases. So what happens is on an engine, when the head gasket goes, in this case, it has done, the hydrocarbons and the CO2 and everything else what's in the combustion gas it goes past the, the leak and into the engine and then what we do is it got because it, it goes like into the cooling system of the engine from the combustion chamber you can pick that up by using that leak test you just stick it in and just gently depress the bulb just palpate the bulb a bit and it'll pull in the vapor and it'll change from blue to green if it stays blue there's no combustion gases very old-fashioned detection method but it's surprisingly effective if you get the steam and not the liquid it'll just won't work you've got to get the steam vapor so in this case you can clearly see in that image we've got some bubbles starting up there the emulsion the rusty plugs that's all we need we don't need any more unfortunately with this engine as well it's got a howling oil pump chain and it's also got issues with um, the cylinder i didn't show the cylinders really there's not much point because they're quite common on n20s lovely engine when they're tuned up and they're not an hybrid and all that and you look after them but with these hybrids there's not enough people know what they're doing and that's why all i get in this area and if you live in this area you should bring your car here if you've got a bmw because if you go into other places they might be all right some are but a lot of them aren't a lot of them are even bmw specialists and all I've got in my rack, and I'll go and show you in a minute, is just job after job, because other garages are making mistakes and balls in everything up. And that's why I'm overwhelmed with work. You will think that in this area they would get the message and just bring them to, well, they do bring them to me, but I should be even busier. But people don't know what they're doing and the training's crap nowadays, and that's the world we're in, and that's the state of this industry. And when I leave this industry, God help who's left in it, because not many people are any good these days so typically what you do when you bleed these after you vacuum filled them i'll show you that in a minute is you put these on maximum temperature you put that on the lowest speed and essentially what you do is you just 
hold the accelerator pedal down for sort of 10 seconds. I'm not going to do it because I don't want it to start the bleeding because it's all stripped. Actually, it's probably just done it now. And you'll hear it click. And what it does that, it actually puts the water pump on, you see, essentially. But it's important that you have them on the lowest speed. And we would turn that off as well, obviously. And that's what you need to do. So I'll leave you with that thought. If you're doing any BMW that needs a vacuum filling, B Series, B48, Jesus Christ, that's even more of a pain in the bum. And the worst car BMW ever to bleed is, um, I would say probably the i8. The i8 with the B38 in, that's extremely difficult to bleed. So until next time, thanks by the way. Hundreds of thousands of views this month. I'm already at 90,000 views. It's only the 6th of May. It's crazy, isn't it? Mainly on my shorts, actually. So if you could uh, subscribe, if you haven't already done so. And if you like any of my shorts, if you like my content, have a watch some more. And spread and share. And let's get the channel moving. See you next time.